Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy A80. I'm going to show you how to screen mirror this to your Samsung Smart TV wirelessly. Okay, so first thing I want to mention is it is a Wi-Fi direct connection. It has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network. Now the first thing you got to do is make sure that your Wi-Fi is on. Okay, so let me go into my Wi-Fi here. So you just have to have this turned on. Okay, now I'm connected to an um, a actual home network. You want to be able, uh, you want to uh, connect to your home Wi-Fi network if you want to be able to screen mirror something that requires internet. Maybe you're playing games or maybe you're doing a Skype call or Skype video that requires internet. So you would have to be hooked up to a home Wi-Fi network. If you're solely playing games that don't require internet or if you're showing your photos or videos locally from your phone to your TV, then obviously you don't need any um, uh, home Wi-Fi network nor does your Samsung Smart TV even have to be hooked up to the internet. It just needs to be plugged in and on, okay? Anyways, turn on your Wi-Fi. I'll go ahead and keep my, uh, I'll be on my Wi-Fi network as well because I'll go ahead and surf uh, the browser here. So first thing is uh, once the Wi-Fi is on, go ahead and slide down notifications again and then slide down again. And then what you want to do is you want to look for Smart View. Smart View is right here. Basically, Samsung calls that screen mirroring. They started doing calling a screen mirroring smart view for the past, I think since like the Samsung Galaxy S7. Anyways, if you don't have smart view here, just go ahead and slide over and look for smart view. You don't have, okay, mine's on the first page here. I'm gonna go ahead and tap on it right now. It found my Samsung smart TV right there. Let me tap on that. Give it a second. Now the thing is, this is the first time I'm connecting to this Samsung TV and every time it's the first time, you'll get this message up here. It says, uh, Galaxy SA, your permission is required to connect your device to this TV. Then you can allow, deny, or close. Go ahead and grab your um, Samsung remote here, and I'm gonna allow it, so I'm gonna press on enter. And now I'll give it a second, and this is the first time we're connecting wirelessly here, as you can see. So pretty much anything you do in here should be relayed on there, okay? Even if, you're, uh, if you wanna do uh, Netflix, or uh, watch YouTube videos, or if you wanna go ahead and surf the internet, like let's go ahead and bring a browser up here. So here's a web browser and you wanna show everybody a particular page or whatnot. And you can zoom in and out, of course. Uh, you can play games. Uh, let's go to my gallery here. I'll show you some photos and I'll play a video here. Let me play a, vi a video here. Now the thing is, when you play a video, the audio is gonna come out from the TV, um, not from the... Um, actual phone here. So let me go ahead and press on play. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I can increase and decrease the volume from the phone. But again, the audio comes out from the TV. And I'll show you a, uh, let's do a, uh, here's a photo here, as you can see. Oops. Of course, I can zoom in and out as well. I'll let you see the Samsung TV here. Nice and crisp. This is a uh, 4K uh, TV as well. And here's a, another one. So if you want to share photos and videos on a big screen to your family members and friends or whatnot, wirelessly, that's pretty much how you do it. If you want to go ahead and disconnect, uh, you have this little blue round thing floating around. I mean, it's everywhere on top of your screen here. You can simply just tap on that. And then from here, I mean, you can uh, you can pause the sharing or you can change your phone aspect ratio here or you can disconnect, okay? You can also disconnect if you just scroll down, scroll down again, and then where it says the, uh, it was smart view, but now because it's connected to my Samsung TV, it says TV Samsung. If I just tap on that, it's gonna go ahead and automatically connect and I should see a disconnect on my TV. Well, I don't. Anyways, it's obviously disconnected. If you guys have any questions or anything, just comment below, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.